Och det var min mamma som ville ha ett dockhus. My mother wanted a doll's house. So my father made her one. He worked on it for 10 years. It was very complicated. They looked all over Europe for furnishings and fittings. Så det var ett stift jobb de hållit på med. The doll's house Tommy Mistanders' parents made in the 1970s and 80s has three stories and 13 rooms. They also made a lot of the furniture. They traveled to many countries to find accessories for the doll's house. The wallpaper, for instance, comes from Britain. You can't buy a doll's house like this ready-made in a shop. You've got to furnish it step by step. I think they based it on a 1920s manor house. The doll's house is two meters tall and a meter wide. Tommy Mistanda hasn't changed anything in it. It's all just the way his parents furnished it. And he loves to show it off. The intricacy of the detail tends to move a lot of women to tears. No matter how old they are, it always takes them back to their childhood. <laughs> but now 62-year-old Tommy Mistanda has decided to sell the house at a price of about 10,000 euros. He keeps the doll's house at home in Mora, a town in central Sweden. He wishes he didn't have to let go of this family heirloom, but he has no choice. I need the money. My mother's dead. My stepfather's still alive. They told me back then I should take it over. So now it's here. I still like having it with me, even though I'm an old man. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye-bye.